Now today we are looking at Marmon playing cards. This is a super cool deck all about sea people, like fish and people, monster creatures type deals. Super cool, honestly. I, I've always loved this type of thing. Uh, I've always liked the Greek mythology and type deals like that, and this is right up my alley. Uh, Aquaman is literally like, it's basically like an entire thing about like Aquaman's type people, right? Super cool. Go and check it out. Link in the description below. You can pick it up for yourself. Now, if you want to see what the deck looks like before you pick it up, that's why I'm here. I do deck reviews every single Wednesday. Let's get into it. So, subscribe and ring the bell. Smash the like button. Let's go. Now, the first thing we're going to look at is the front of the tuck box. Saying Marmon playing cards right there on the front. Standard edition 52 cards deck. Super cool with a one of the Marmons. I don't even know how you'd say the plural of it, but a Marmon is on the front of the deck. Super cool back design, like a bunch of like sea tiles. Super cool green, loving this deck. So one side says made in the USA, and the other side says created by P.F. Vanderberg. Bottom is just some ad copy for this deck. And I'm gonna get into the top because it says standard 52. And this tuck seal is also really really dope, which I'm going to have to break open in a second. And again, I'm assuming this is going to be the back design, so I'm not going to show you that for too long. The inside, of course, has some standard ad copy, and the inside is going to be all blank, so let's take a look at the cards. Now let's start with the ad cards before we get into the fun stuff, and I'm going to let you read them, so go ahead and pause it if you want to read any specific ones of these cards. So that is number one, and the back of it looks like this. Then here's the other one with the back of it. Probably shouldn't cover up the letters. Looking like this. So a super cool story on there. Already read it. But I'm going to let you read it for yourself a little bit more about uh, the Marmon species and how the story goes. So let's get into more of the fun stuff. First, you're going to have semi duplicate jokers, one being colored and one being in black and white of the same Marmon you saw in the front of the deck. Now let's check out the number cards. First, we have the spades, so the pips are going to be a little bit different, um, but the placement is going to be the same. So they're a little bit chunkier, so here, when you're looking at this, placement is all going to be normal, just like you'd see on any other bicycle deck, um, but the pips have a little bit of a chunkiness, a little bit more rounded uh, on the sides, a little bit wider. And these are the diamonds, your clubs, and lastly your hearts and I love how this is like a little bit more of an orangish color it's like an orangish yellow a little bit more like a tangerine and I'm really digging it I'm not gonna lie now for the court cards imagine for me for a second that a bicycle deck of court cards tried to have kids with a bunch of sea fish people warriors and their dress is in orange and green, and yellow and black. That's the court cards. So let me show you what I mean by that. Your court cards are going to look a lot like bicycle cards in the fact of their layout, but when you're actually looking at them, sometimes you'll have a straight on view of the fish like so. Sometimes you'll have the side profile like these. Sometimes they'll face the other way, but you never quite know what's going to happen with these court cards. Um, but they have the same basic placement as what you would have with the same bicycle cards. So just for an example, you have that hand there that would normally be on the King of Diamonds for the court cards of a bicycle deck. So they took some of the things and still converted it over. You have all these super fun colors, you have new weapons. It's honestly super fun, and it fits the deck perfectly. Now, the only thing I probably would have changed is not ever having the face-on view, because then it's all just skinny, and I feel like it's a little bit weird, but that's just my opinion. Now, it's time for the last four cards, and then the back design. Three of the last four being aces. One, two, and three. Now, of course, you're not shocked about any of them. The one that I really love is this freaking ace of spades. It says, Marmon playing cards. P.F. Vandenberg 2020, and this is such a cool ace of spades of a marmon that's over there swimming in the middle of it. It's just honestly 
super freaking beautiful. Now, since I'm doing a deck review, I already know I'm going to get this question in the comments, so I'm just going to answer it now. Is it a marked deck? No, it is not. No, it is not. It is not a marked deck. Is it super cool? Yes, it is. But let me show you this back design. So cool. Well, bam! It is exactly like the back of the tuck box, which I do really appreciate, and it is a one-way design. And since it is a one-way design, it makes some really fun magic effects out of it. So when I say it is a one-way design, that means if you take it from here and you flip it upside down, or upside down, however you plan on moving your arm like that, which is completely extra, um, you're going to be able to see a difference based on the back design. So it's very subtle, and it's just in that little center part where it curves like that, um, but when it curves like this, and you flip it over, now it curves like that. So it's basically the same thing as a slow hands deck, where the very center of it flips. Makes it really easy to find every time. Super, super easy to use for magic effects. Should you buy this deck, right? Should you buy Marvin playing cards? Well, I'm going to tell you, it depends on who you are. That's how I say every time, and this is what I mean. If you're a magician, I would pick this deck up. Can you do stuff with the bag design? Yes. Are the faces a little bit recolored? Yes. The only issue I could have with being a magic deck is are the court cards being so customized. It could make a little bit of an issue when looking at this deck, but besides that, I think it'll be super easy. I mean, for the most part, you'll be able to look and see that that is a queen of clubs, um, but sometimes I think it could be a little bit, a little bit difficult, um, but for the most part, I think I would entirely be able to use this, and I think I will use this for magic. Do you think you would use it for cardistry? Probably not. Uh, could you use it for cardistry? Yes, but it's not a cardistry centered deck. So will I end up using it for cardistry? Yeah, I probably will. It's just not the first thing that comes to mind when I think of this deck. How about collectors? Yes! If you're a collector, freaking pick this deck up. Seriously, pick this deck up. One, it's a cool deck, and it would look cool on a shelf like that. Number two, if you like things that are like sea things, or marmon things, or mythology things, again, super cool. One, well, number three, apparently I can't count to three. That's pretty sad. This is a deck that is being produced by Marmon Playing Card. When you buy the stinking deck in the description below, there's going to be a V2s, V3s, V4s, different types of playing cards that come from them. So then you'll be able to collect them going in order, starting with the V1s, and you don't want to miss out on that. Seriously, it's super cool. Next being playing cards, do you like playing games with them? I think you can, 100%. Do I think you should? Probably not, and here's why I like my playing cards way too much to let other people who don't know how to use playing cards the right way play with my playing cards. That's just the way that it is. So probably playing card games are not the thing for this, although you could 100% use it as long as the people you're playing with know how to handle the playing cards. And is this a hype deck? No, it is not. Reason number one, it has super cool designs that put a lot of thought and intentionality into it. And number two, there's not a lot of people that know about it, which is why I'm doing this deck review here for you. So once again, if you want to pick this deck up, check it out in the description below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is Card Perfect, signing off. Now, come on now, you know this is going to top 100 decks, seriously. It's up to you. Yep, that is now in my top 100 decks. You can check out that video right there of me checking out all the top 100 decks. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is Card Perfect for the second time. Signing off. Make sure to go check out those playing cards in the description below because they're super freaking cool.